Hey buddies, Mr. Pugly here coming at you with another Wonderlands video. Today I want to talk about a legendary item that is kind of a reference or it literally is a reference to Borderlands 2 shield the sham because this shield is literally called the sham wah. <laughs> so the sham wah is pretty much just like the sham. It has a high absorb rate but it also has the additional effect of dropping an elemental puddle when the ward breaks. But before I get into the meat and potatoes of this item, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. I've been streaming five plus hours every single day for Wonderland. So if you're looking for Twitch content, you're in the perfect spot. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into it. So this shield is a dedicated loot source from the Ovilus that you can find in the Drown Abyss. It's going to be right here. I'm going to zoom out all the way just so you can see it. It's going to be the end boss in the Ovilus. I'm going to quick activate the Ovilus so you can actually see the boss right here. King, I'm not sure how you say this, but it might be Ko Kurubub. Kuyurub? I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's basically a giant crab and has a chance to drop the aforementioned shield. He's not terribly hard to kill. If you have an optimized build, you can kill him pretty decently quickly, like I am doing right here. So since the shield has a high chance to absorb bullets, I'm going to try my best to find some enemies that actually shoot bullets. Now, I've noticed in Wonderlands there's not as many bullet enemies <laughs> as other previous entries in the series so I might be a bit dismissive on whether or not this shield would even be good because there's not that many enemies that you encounter that shoot bullets but let's go find some pirates so they can shoot at us. First before we find some bullet enemies let me first show you the second ability of the sham which I've now realized it's probably a reference to the sham wow and I feel stupid for not realizing that but um <laughs> whenever the ward is broken it's going to drop an elemental puddle which deals pretty decent damage to the nearby enemies. Now the one I'm using is a shock. I also have a corrosive variant. So if I were to equip the corrosive one, we probably will see a corrosive puddle as well. So let me do that. Oh, it's not corrosive. It's dark magic, but <laughs> it's still fine. I'm going to get purposely damaged right here. And it does drop a puddle based on the shield's element. So keep that in mind. So if you want a dark magic puddle, get that. I think dark magic puddle might actually be ideal because then it would heal you in theory but <laughs> let's continue on with the video one observation that needs to be made is whether or not it gets buff meister application so i'm going to purposely get down i'm going to activate it and we should see yeah it looks like for some reason the puddle also gets buff meister stuff so if you have a buff meister and you want to get the puddle to deal more damage as well, it's able to get benefits from the buff meister. Alrighty, so right here they're shooting arrows at me and you'll see that sometimes the, sh the arrows are literally just going into me, which means I'm not taking any damage at all. So I'm going to let them shoot me again. So as, as you see right there, I'm getting arrows put into me, but I'm absorbing them. So it works exactly the same as the sham does or any absorb shield in the entire game. It just has a huge absorb rate, which is excellent. This works for most projectiles. I don't think it works for magical projectiles like the Eyclops projectiles because I haven't had any projectiles from the Cyclops or the Eyclops to even absorb. So I'm not really sure what to say to that. But otherwise, it will increase the survivability for a decent bit if you are fighting a lot of enemies with projectiles. I feel like a lot of the times, most of the enemies are melee. So it's I don't really know how useful this is going to be in this particular game. But maybe there'll be certain areas that only have like arrow guys that you'll really, really want this type of shield or during a certain boss fight that has projectiles you can absorb. Of course, if you have a idea on how to use a shield that I'm not putting out there, I would love to hear it in the comments. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick Inglacia, Super Noob, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Doorman Tazzy, and Grey Wolf. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description or in the top right to become a member. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell born a cave with a torch on a wall then a window arrangement of porcelain doll